Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do the large doily or the plate placemat. <laughs> I didn't say that properly. The placemat setting for a plate to go with the previous video I did on the cup coasters. I showed you how to do the smaller one of these for cup coasters. Today I'm going to show you how to do this larger one. Now the way I've done it, I've done one, two, three, four, five, six rounds on this. You can make it bigger by repeating this fifth round here and you can continue to increase each round if you want to make this really much bigger but I'm going to show you how today how to do this placemat setting for a plate it's a large doily you can actually just put these down on tables on your sideboards and things you can put ornaments on them or put your a vase of flowers on the top of it it really helps to show off your beautiful crochet and what i'm going to do in another video is i'm going to show you how to mount it into a ring for a wall hanging i'll show you that in another video as well so today i'm going to show you how to do this beautiful beautiful placemat this is a beautiful doily look at this it's only six rounds and then if you skip out row five and jump from row four to row six then you'll be able to do this smaller as a side plate setting as well and you'll have a set of three coasters to do these as beautiful table settings do them any colour you like do them in Christmas colours Christmas is coming up soon you can do them in all different types of yarn as well and it's absolutely beautiful so in my last video I showed you how to make these doilies for cups or to set a plant on. I'm going to show you how to make a larger one that you could put underneath a plate. Someone asked me how do you do it as a, a placemat setting. So you'll make your little doilies for your cups or your glasses. I'm going to show you how to make a larger one. It'll be slightly larger and you could set a plate on it on your table. So I'm going to use this little ball of cotton. Now I've already made that one from this ball and one little ball should be enough to do a cup coaster and a plate mat. So I'm going to show you how to do it and I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this crochet hook. This is a 3.5 millimeter. That's a six in the USA and in the UK it's a 3.5 millimeter. Now I'm going to put leave that one there and I'll put all of these aside because you can use scrap yarn just like I've did with that one I'll move them all aside so I've got the end of my yarn and I'm going to start with a magic knot I'm going to wrap the yarn around my hand I've got the tail end here it's basically a big slip knot that we're going to make just pull that yarn through catch your working yarn and you've got like this little loose loop we're going to chain three one two and three now you can chain four and then just slip stitch it to make a ring now we're going to put 26 treble crochets into this loop so that chain counts as number one so you're going to do 26 so that's two three so I've got one more to put in to my magic ring and that makes 30 now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tail end and just pull it in tight pull it in So that pulls it in. You won't get it in as tight as your little cup one because the cup one only has 20. So I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that chain of three to close that round. So that's my first round done. 
I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Now we're going to make these little clusters. We're going to make these little clusters around your little circle. You should have 15. You should end up with 15 of these little clusters. So that treble crochet counts as your first stitch. You're going to yarn over and go in to the next stitch and do a treble crochet. So keep that loop there. You're going to yarn over and come through that loop. So now you're going to chain two, one and two. Into the next stitch you're going to do your treble crochet. Keep the stitch on your hook. Then do a treble crochet into the next stitch. So you've now got three loops on your hook and you've got your little cluster there. Yarn over and come through those three loops and that makes a little cluster. I'm going to chain two and do the same with the next two stitches. So do a treble crochet, keep the stitch on your hook, yarn over and do the next one. You've got three loops on your hook, pull through those three loops and chain two, one, two. And do the same to the next two stitches. So treble crochet, keep it on your hook, into the next stitch, do a treble crochet, yarn over and pull through, then chain two. You're going to do that all the way along and you should end up with 15 of these clusters. So that's one, into the next stitch, join them together chain two and to the next stitch. So I'm just going to finish my last cluster. I'm going to chain two, one, two, get some more yarn out of this little ball. So I've done my chain two. So I'm, this chain of three that we started with count one, two, three stitches and we're going to slip stitch and to there and you've got this lovely little wheel. That's round two done. What we're going to do now is we're going to slip stitch, pull your stitch up and we're going to slip stitch over into that space. You're going to chain three, one, two, three and we're going to do double clusters into each of these spaces. Here you've only got one cluster. Now we're going to do a double V cluster. That counts as your first treble crochet. So yarn over and go into that space and pull through. You're going to pull through those two, chain two. So we've got our chain stitch on the hook. We're going to yarn over and go back into that space and do a treble crochet. Now keep the stitch on your hook. Yarn over and do another treble crochet. Keep the stitch on there, yarn over and pull through those three loops. You're going to chain one and move to the next space and do that double cluster. Here we've only done one cluster. In these spaces we're going to do two. So we've done a chain one. So into here, do a treble crochet, keep it on the hook, into the chain space, so we've got three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through, chain two and do another cluster. Put three loops, yarn over and pull through those three. Chain one to move over to the next space and do your double cluster, one treble crochet and your other one, keep them on the hook yarn over and through the three loops and chain two and do your next cluster one and two into that step into that space go through chain one and move to the next cluster so you're going to do that all the way around 
So I've nearly finished my last cluster. I've got my chain two and the last part of that little V cluster to do. Got my three loops, yarn over and come through. Chain one. Now I'm going to find my chain of three that I started the round with and count one, two, three stitches. So I'm going to go in to that third stitch in the chain and slip stitch. So there we go. What we're going to do now is in between each of these ones we're going to do another round of these V stitches because it's for a plate it needs to be a little bit bigger than that one so this one is this size so your plate one is going to be a little bit bigger just big enough to set a plate on the top of it doesn't need to be a great big circle so I'm going to go into the next stitch and slip stitch it's a little further over and into here pull my stitch up so that you can get over there without making it too tight and I'm going to go into there so I'm in between my V stitch clusters I'm going to chain three one two three and I'm going to do this round again repeat this round so into that chain space so your first one will just have your two loops. I'm going to chain two, one, two, and into that space again, I'm going to do my two treble crochets together. So I've got three loops, yarn over and pull through. Chain one, and I'm going to move over in between the next two loops. Don't go into that space there. Go into your next two loops. One and two. Keep them all on the hook and pull through. Chain two and do another one into that same space. Another cluster. Chain one. We're moving across in between here. Do your little V stitch cluster. Chain two in the middle and do your next two treble crochets. So you're going to have another round of your V stitches. I'll just pull some more yarn out my little ball here and I'll carry on around this round. So skip that space and you're going in between your V stitch. So skip that one. It belongs to that V stitch. Do treble crochet. Keep it on the hook. Your treble crochet. You've got three loops. Pull through. Chain two. And do the next part of your V cluster. Through there. Chain one and move to your next cluster here. Remember, you're going into the V clusters. And that's what you're getting. So I've done my last V stitch. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to find that chain of three that we started with. That's my first cluster there. One, two, three, and I'm going to slip stitch. And to here. Now you can, if you want, do the fan round here and this is how much bigger it is. It won't be that much bigger. So I'm going to do one more round and I'm going to show you how to make this bigger if you want to do this much, much bigger. So what we're going to do, we're going to slip stitch into this first V stitch so go into that stitch there next to this one and slip stitch pull your stitch up a little bit so it's not too tight and we're going to slip stitch into this cluster so that's as in the middle of this cluster chain three one two three so this is going to be our increase round yarn over and do your treble crochet Pull the two of them together like that. 
chain two just like we did down here and do your next cluster so it's one treble crochet into the same space and do your second one and pull through you're going to do chain one now you're going to skip over here to this one and then we're going to build an extra one in here so into here and you're going to do your v-stitch cluster so that's two trebles you've got your three loops pull through chain two and go in and do another cluster and pull through chain one now this time every second stitch we're going to build an extra cluster into the space in between so in here we're going to build an extra cluster this will stop your doily from curling in chain two and do the other part one and two so you've got an extra cluster in there a chain one and move to this one and put your normal cluster in chain two and finish that off so this is what you have these are your these are your normal clusters that you've already got so we've done one skip to space we've put our next one in here and then we've added an extra one in so we'll do one in here one in here and then we'll add an extra one in then we'll do one there one there and add an extra one in there so every third one we're going to add an extra one so you've got your clusters so we're going to do a normal cluster into the next one because we've got one in that space and this is how you extend it this is how you increase So that's that one done. So we've got our two done in the normal place. So in here we're going to put another extra one. So our increase one goes in here. Do my two chain. And my two trebles together. To chain one and go into the next space. So we'll put one in this space, skip that space and put one in there. Then we'll put one in there, do that one, skip that space and do that one. So it's every third set of clusters or in between every second set. So we're adding one here, we'll put one there, one there and we'll add an extra one in there. We'll do a cluster in this one, a cluster in this one and add an extra in there. So we've got that one added in between. You can see it here. You've got a cluster here, your cluster, and we've added that extra one in. So we'll do this cluster and this cluster as normal. Do my two chain and put my second part of that cluster in. Chain one. We're going to move to the next space, the proper space, skip that space, into the next cluster. Chain two to your cluster. Chain one. So you'll be doing your two clusters and add an extra one. Two clusters and add an extra one. So we're going to add one in here. Chain one, move to the next two. So it's a cluster in here 
and a cluster in here and then we'll add one in between. Cluster, cluster and add one in there. Cluster, cluster and then add one. And what that's doing is it's making your doily bigger. So I'm all the way around. Now what I had to do was, what I had to do, when I done two and added one, I did two, added one into the space. Then I did two clusters, added an extra one into these the space in between. So you can see here what I've done. I've done a cluster, a cluster, then I added an extra one in between. A cluster, a cluster, then added an extra one into that space. Cluster, a cluster, then added one, a cluster and a cluster, add one, cluster and a cluster. So what I've had to do here was, I've had to add an extra one here, just to keep myself with my three clusters together. So don't worry if you're having to add an extra cluster in, because we did only have 15 clusters. So don't worry about it, I've added an extra one in here. And I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that chain of three. If you don't add that extra one in there, we do have sort of like four together here. One here, one here, one there and one there. It's just to keep it in the round. So don't worry, you won't even notice. And there you go, that is that next round. Now the last round we're going to do this round. Now if you don't want to do that increase round you'll just skip to this round here. So what we're going to do is right into where we were we're going to do a double crochet. Just go right into that space and do a double crochet. Now in here between these two clusters we're going to build a fan. That's six UK treble crochets. So that's one and two. We're going in between the cluster. Three, four, five and six. Into the next space you're going to do a double crochet. So in between this next cluster here you're going to build a fan. So you're doing six treble crochets. One, two, three. Let's throw that down here out of the way. Four, five and six double crochet into the next space. Then you'll do a fan in between the next cluster. Double crochet into the next space, fan into the cluster, double crochet into the next space, then do a fan into the cluster all the way around. So I've gone all the way around with my fan and my double crochet. So I'm going to find the double crochet that I started with and just slip stitch on to that. I'm going to pull my stitch up and cut my yarn. And just thread that through there. Now that little 25 gram ball gave me enough to do a plate one and a cup one and look at that it is so pretty this is such a pretty little placemat so you've got a plate one and the cup one and if you want to see how to do the cup one then just watch the other video what i'm going to show you in the next video is how to put this as a wall hanging how to put it inside uh, a frame if you want it inside an embroidery frame to hang on the wall and I did have a little bit of that 25 gram ball of cotton left that was the, the sheepsies cotton 
and I had that left. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and if you click on the bell icon, YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.